What's up team? So in the past we have made fire from some really unique sources. Uh, we've done batteries, we've done batteries in gum wrappers, we even made fire from water. But today we're gonna step it up a notch. We're gonna combine some things that you typically wouldn't think that you could start a fire from and we're gonna create fire from ice. Okay, so in order to make fire from ice, we're gonna be using a very similar methodology uh, as we did for the bag of water. So we're gonna to try to get uh, like a big chunk of ice, a very clear chunk of ice, um, as round as we possibly can, and then we're gonna use this pot, and we're gonna go find some kindling outside, and I'm gonna to try to hold it without getting the water dripping on our actual fire. That's gonna be the hard part, actually. I think that's gonna be the hardest part. Now, here's something about the ice that we're gonna be using. Uh, typically, when you make ice, like in a freezer, like, you know, when you're making an ice cube tray, you notice that they're not very clear. They're actually like, they look like they're, um, there's a lot of like uh, trapped uh, air bubbles in there, and that's exactly what it is. It's trapped air bubbles from the water that's diffusing out as they're freezing. So I went to my buddies at Cal Ice. We've worked with them in the past. Uh, we did the Icicles of Death experiment with them. Uh, so we became pretty good friends with them. Went down there, got a big chunk of ice, very inexpensively. Um, if you're in Los Angeles, definitely check them out. And I have it in my freezer over here. Ba boom. Big giant chunk of ice. And just been keeping it in the freezer. All right. Now I'm not an ice carver. I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm just kind of assuming that, you know, if I chip away at it with these wood chisels, that I'll be able to sort of like, you know, score a line, and that I'll be able to break it. And I'm gonna try to cut this thing in half, and then in quarter pieces, and then I'm gonna try to sculpt a little like, roundish type thing. You can see right through the other side. That's really impressive. I mean, you can see right through it. See me on the other side over there? I made a nice little snowball for you guys. Uh, and as I was carving it and we were changing the battery, uh, it broke. Which is good, because it broke exactly where I wanted it to. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put this, this big chunk, this is like our safety chunk. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy back in this bag over here. Just stick that back in the freezer. Ooh, it's through the other side. Oh, there we go. Great. All right, perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully kind of uh, just get rid of the edges, like how I have been doing. It's really easy to work with, like much easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna be cracking stuff and like really just shave it. All right, so well, I mean that's a pretty good. You know, I think we could at least work with that because it's, it's very cylindrical. So let's go downstairs and see what we can do with this, and then um, we'll, we'll make changes as need be. Okay, I'm probably gonna still need to get the edges. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda do this just so I can get it as round as possible. Alrighty, let's see where we can find this focal point. Uh-oh, we're already getting water in there. Abort mesh. So much water. We just want to be able to find one of the focal points. Keep blocking it, plus it's melting all over the place. Oh, sh no, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! I cracked our life-saving support. Well, there goes that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, boot back up tomorrow and we're gonna give this a another shot. So the first part of this experiment did not work out so hot, um, so I did some thinking and I thought, you know what, we have such a big chunk of ice, why don't I literally just make a giant magnifying glass that I can actually hold? the big problem was that I couldn't hold the ice. It was just like kind of melting in my hands and I was kind of blocking it and whatnot. I really needed a handle. So let's get to making some, uh, some fire with ice. Carve a little handle here. 
and then like a big round piece right here. So uh, yeah, let's get to uh, carving away. You know, so much of science is problem solving. And so much of problem solving is innovation, which takes creativity. And so much of that comes down to like, basically the same thing as just art. So I feel like we're literally just doing an art piece. In many ways, we kind of are. Well, there's at least the kind of the template for what we're looking at here. So. <laughs> oh, the handle is like, it's not the best, I gotta be honest. So like holding it, it's gonna be kind of tough. It's gonna be like this. So right there. Okay, so we have our ice magnifying glass in the freezer, just so the outer layer of it doesn't uh, get so cold or so hot that it just melts away. Um, I'm gonna prepare our, sort of our kindling kit. Um, I'm gonna throw my uh, sunglasses on so I can take a look at it for a while. And then we're going to Give it a shot. All right, so there's like our kindling stand right there. So, I'm gonna get in there. Now, the focal point was actually pretty wide. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get my hands nice and clean. I'm gonna try to get as much of this in here as I possibly can. I can actually smell it burning. Oh my god, there it goes. Starting to get some smoke. Good lord, we're losing the lens. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the lens is so small now. Alright, it's our last chance for survival. We're so close. I mean, look at that. Like, it actually charred it, you know what I mean? Our lens is like toast and like, it's so hard to hold on to now. Like really lost a lot of the, the potential of the, of the lens. It's just getting so small now and it's getting warped. Plus the ice itself isn't very clear. There's all sorts of problems with the ice. Okay, we are on day number two of trying to get fire from ice. The first day we used a little sphere. Sphere didn't work because I couldn't hold on to it. I kept blocking it. Uh, on the second day, we ended up using a ice magnifying glass. The problem that we ran into is that the magnifying glass was literally melting. And our ice essentially uh, got really cloudy. There was a bunch of like cracks in it, so it was no longer um, collecting photons and beaming them in one central spot. It was kind of just ricocheting all over the inside of the ice. So that was a big problem. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna try a different method and we're going to get fire from ice. Now I say that because I'm very confident now that we've gotten at least smoke from ice, from, from making an ice lens and getting smoke. So hit that subscribe button because we wanna make sure that you see that video where we actually make fire with ice. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know. Do you have any other uh, like ideas, maybe how we could do this better? Um, maybe there's there's a method that we're overlooking or, or there's something you were like, wow, I'm really surprised you guys even got smoke from fire. So don't go away. Hit that subscribe button because tomorrow we're definitely making fire from ice. And I'll see you guys really soon.